Hi everyone, welcome to Timber Seasoning, okay? So we're going to look at here is killing seasoning. It's an artificial method for drying out timber. Okay, so our uh, objectives here really is, you know, trying to uh, understand how this process works and the advantages and disadvantages involved with killing uh, seasoning. Also called compartment seasoning. Okay, so it's an artificial process for removing moisture from timber. And as you can see there, the big stack of timber going into this very big kiln. Okay, almost like a big giant shed. And the timber is spaced to get uh, apart with these little pieces called stickers. Okay, that allows for the movement of air and moisture and steam through the gaps between the timber, allowing all surfaces to be dried evenly. The actual kiln itself, if we look at a basic model, Okay, is an enclosed unit with a big fan. Okay, and as you can see here, and you can see the little fan spinning. Okay, the fan is to extract the moist air. It's not necessarily drawing in fresh air. It's to extract all the moist uh, air that's been taken from the timber, the moisture that's been taken from the timber, out and to uh, put it out. Now, uh, the hot pipes um, in the actual uh, killing itself they heat the air inside raising the internal temperature okay and uh, as you can see here the timber is stacked on uh, to a trolley and there are stickers those pieces of timber placed between to allow for gaps so that moisture and air can pass between the timber allowing them to dry evenly okay um, so um, we want to get the wood from a wet state to a dry state because it's full of sap and moisture when it's initially felled. However, not all moisture is removed from the timber. 15 to 22 percent of moisture, MC, moisture content, is deemed suitable. We don't want it to be too dry, it'll become too brittle then. Um, uh, compartment killing seasoning is a favourable method because it's quick and adaptable and allows different types of timber to be seasoned to their required levels. The seasoning process involves uh, the following. Forced air circulation by using large fans and blowers. Heat of some uh, form provided by uh, a piped steam. Humidity control provided by j uh, steam jets. And you can see the steam jets there in the blue and red. Throughout this process, moisture is constantly being drawn out of the timber, um, which is in its wet state and contains 15-30% to 30 water moisture. Compartment kiln seasoning is a relatively quick but expensive process and is often used to season expensive timber material. Um, we have a little calculation there uh, for wet weight and dry weight and you can see the moisture content in timber 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60 and some of the defects, bow, crook, cup, twist and fungal attack itself. Okay, The key term here as well is e equilibrium moisture content, EMC, is the moisture content of wood below the fibre saturation point, FSP. Um, is a function of uh, both relative humidity and uh, temperature of surrounding air. Fibre saturation point is the term used in wood mechanics and especially wood drying to denote the point in the drying process at which only water in the cell walls remain with all other water called free water having been removed from the cell cavities. So you can imagine a wood is a living organism full of cells and they're arranged in certain ways and their cell contain, there's water contained between the cells but also inside the cells. They're like little buckets, okay? And uh, it's important that we don't dry out those internal cells, sorry, because that little bit of moisture we leave in the timber allows for the flexibility, the workability of the material, its durability and strength, okay? So all very, very important. Um, just there as well, I draw your, your, um, your uh, attention to the, um, the bottom of the screen there as well. You see there's a little uh, question there for you. If the wet weight of a piece of timber is 240 grams and its dry weight is 200 grams, then what is the moisture content of the piece of timber? Well, you can see there, uh, we have a little formula at the bottom, the moisture content formula. So, have a go at it. See, can you figure that out? Okay, and then you can gauge the moisture content of the timber based on your answer with the little uh, matrix above you there with the green, the yellow and the red threshold levels for moisture. Okay, so um, the one other thing there is um, just to go back there to the seasoning defects. 
that during the seasoning process the timber material is prone to shrinkage and shake, cracking, and this is due to the microscopic cellular deformation as a result of heat and pressure. Now those are big words, but basically, you imagine if you were cooking something at home in your oven and you overcooked it, what would happen? Okay, it would dry up, it would twist, it would crack, all right, um, and it wouldn't taste nice, maybe. Uh, not that we're eating timber here, but um, timber is a material, just like foods are made from materials, and when we put them into heated conditions, they react, okay? And it, again, the common uh, 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 seasoning defects we get is uh, bow, uh, which is where the timber kind of bends uh, like a U, crook. Okay, where it bends along its edge. Cup, where it, it actually cups, cup shape and twists so that it goes in the opposite directions at either end and it creates a kind of a twist in the material as well, or along the length of the board. And then it's also prone to fungal attack as well. This is generally post-treatment. If the uh, correct moisture content is not achieved, um, fungus can develop on the actual surfaces of the timber. Okay, and we get two forms of rot from that, dry rot and wet rot. Now they can be subject to the environment that the timber is placed into after seasoning or as a result of poor seasoning either by natural, which is air drying, or artificial by killing. Okay, so we'll cover more of those in later lessons, but for now I hope you've enjoyed and uh, have a go at that little formula at the bottom of the page with the question that's given in the, in the left side and see how you go. Okay, we'll talk soon. Bye.